In July 2023, Kevin Costner's ex-wife, Christine Baumgartner, and Josh Connor were seen enjoying a vacation in Hawaii at a beautiful villa in Hulalai. They were soaking up the sun and having a relaxing time on the beach with Christine's kids. There was a moment when Connor gently placed his hand on her leg. They were spotted leaving together as the day faded into a picturesque sunset. Interestingly, this vacation was entirely funded by Connor. When this was brought to the court hearing of her divorce from Costner, Baumgartner and her lawyer said that Connor is just a family friend. However, on January 13, 2024, Christine was seen dropping off Connor at his Montecito home, just less than five minutes away from her place. We could see that Connor was sporting a beard, a black cap, and a sweater, along with blue jeans, while pulling a suitcase away from Christine's vehicle. So is it true that the two are dating? Most importantly, is it connected to the reason why Baumgartner left Costner? Well, that's what we're going to talk about in this video. And you don't want to miss the reaction of Kevin Costner after hearing this news. Also, we're going to talk about who is the singer slash songwriter that Kevin Costner is dating now after the divorce and what's the latest update about his movie series, Horizon. So keep watching. Kevin Costner's ex, Christine, is dating Josh Connor after divorce. Is it true that Baumgartner and Connor are dating? Sources are saying that Christine enjoys Josh's company a lot. They both love the beach and the ocean, and people close to them are whispering that Christine and Josh have actually been dating. They started as friends, but now it seems there's more to their story. So we can say it's 90% yes, they are dating. Adding to what their friend said, Connor and Christine have been spotted visiting each other's homes quite frequently, even when their kids were with them. According to reliable sources, this isn't a new development because these two have been in a relationship for some time now. They even spent the holiday season together, first in Hawaii and then in New York, all while Kevin was away in Aspen with the kids. An insider shared, They're together and they have been for a while. They spent time before Christmas together in Hawaii while Kevin was presumably in Aspen with the kids. They also made a trip to New York together. She hasn't been doing much to hide what's going on from her friends. But honestly, who is Josh Connor and how he met Christine Baumgartner? Josh Connor is a financier and, interestingly, he used to live right next door to Christine and Kevin. Just like Christine, Josh is also a divorced dad, officially single since January 3, 2023, which is just five months before Christine filed for divorce from Costner. The two met because their daughters were best friends, which brought the two families together. Both families have been a part of the Montecito community for years, living not far from each other's luxurious homes. Baumgartner denied that she's dating Connor. So when rumors started to swirl about their romance, Christine's lawyer made it clear during the legal battles in August of 2023 that Josh was just a friend, nothing more. When Christine was asked about the expensive trip to Hawaii in July, she took the stand in court and shared that despite the luxurious getaway, she and Connor were just friends. She clarified that during their stay in Hawaii, she bunked with a female friend, although Connor footed the bill for the trip. Also, in the middle of their divorce, Christine found herself in a tight spot and received generous help of $20,000 from Josh Connor. During a court session in August 2023, it came to light that this money came at a time when Christine was really struggling. The $20,000 loan from Connor was partially used to support her family, with $10,000 going to her mother and the rest being returned. Christine disclosed that Kevin used to support her parent with $5,000 monthly, but since she filed for divorce, it stopped. The $10,000 she received from Connor was to fill in this financial gap and Christine intended to repay it. Did Baumgartner dig the gold out of Costner? During their divorce hearing, Baumgartner aimed for $165,000 a month in child support payments and wanted to challenge a prenuptial agreement. This agreement was initially set to give her a one-time payment of $1.5 million without alimony. She described their extravagant lifestyle, which included properties in Colorado and Carpentaria, stating she needed $100,000 a month rental to provide a similar lifestyle for her kids. However, her Montecito rental, despite its luxury, didn't meet her standards. She argued it was unsuitable because it lacked sea views and her sons had to share a bedroom. The judge, Thomas Anderl, found her arguments lacking and reduced her child support to $63,000 a month from a temporary $129,000. Despite her initial resistance, she eventually settled the divorce with Costner. Kevin Costner had strong suspicions about Baumgartner and their neighbor. 
Recently, Kevin Costner was honored with the Lifetime Achievement Trophy at the Joy Awards in Saudi Arabia. But it's not just his professional life that's been in the spotlight. When Costner was at LAX, Entertainment Tonight approached him and asked what he could say about the ongoing romance between his ex-wife and their former neighbor. His initial response was, I don't have a next-door neighbor. And when the reporter asked the same question in different words, Costner chose to stay silent on the matter and not offer any additional comments. However, reports from January 2024 reveal that Costner might have had suspicions about Christine and Josh. According to a source who spoke to Us Weekly, there was a noticeable tension, a real elephant in the room, hinting that the bond between Christine and Josh was closer than one might expect. But Baumgartner is not the only one who's dating someone after their divorce because Kevin Costner secretly dating Jewel Kilcher. The Daily Mail in December 2023 shared how Richard Branson is 100% responsible for Kevin and Jewel hooking up. Both celebrities have long-standing friendships with Branson, which played a huge role in their paths crossing in a more romantic light. The story begins when Branson invited Jewel to host her charity fundraiser on his private Caribbean island in November. It was there that Jewel and Costner connected, leading to what sources describe as an organic hookup. Insiders say the two hit it off well, and there's a newfound happiness radiating from Jewel, a light that's been missing for some time. Despite the newness of their relationship, it's not all serious just yet. But the chemistry is undeniable, especially after flirty photos surfaced of the duo cozying up in the British Virgin Islands during Jewel's Inspiring Children Foundation event. Witnesses of their interactions during the November fundraiser describe an undeniable connection, with both Jewel and Costner lighting up in each other's presence. Jewel, the 49-year-old singer, took to Instagram to share moments from her annual tennis fundraiser on Sir Richard Branson's Necker Island. In her post, Jewel gave a special shout-out to Costner for mentoring the kids at the event, alongside praising Branson for his inspiring presence in tennis skills. And now that we're talking about Kevin Costner, we can't let slip the hottest and juiciest update about his film saga, Horizon. Everything we know about Kevin Costner's Horizon. After a two-decade break from directing, Kevin Costner is making a grand return to the director's chair with his upcoming film, Horizon, an American Saga. Not only is Costner directing this Western saga, but he's also wearing multiple hats as the producer, co-writer, and star of the series. Horizon is Costner's passion project for two decades. That's why he's all in when bringing it to life. See, Costner first dreamt up Horizon way back in 1988, envisioning it as a single film. He even approached Disney a few years later to make it a reality. Though things didn't work out with Disney at the time, Costner didn't give up on his dream. Fast forward to January 2022, he announced that Horizon was finally on its way to the big screen. Costner said, I've mortgaged 10 acres on the water in Santa Barbara where I was going to build my last house, but I did it without a thought. It has thrown my accountant into a conniption fit, but it's my life and I believe in the idea and the story. Horizon will hit theaters on June 28, 2024, with the second chapter following closely behind on August 16, 2024. This saga is planned to stretch over four films, although we only have the release dates for the first two so far. Lastly, Costner shared with a variety, saying, They're all different films that all connect, so you're watching a saga of these storylines that are happening. So, what's your take? Do you think that Baumgartner will watch Horizon? Well, one thing is for sure. Horizon will be a blockbuster movie series because until now, there is nothing to be found on Yellowstone. But we can find something on the Four Sixes Ranch. And if you want to know all the latest, hottest, and juiciest updates about this Yellowstone spinoff, click this video right here.